Time now for a look through the international headlines we're following on this Monday morning. For that, we turn to our Eunice Kim, standing by at the News Centre. Good morning, Eunice. Hello, Mark. Now, a couple of earthquakes to talk about today. We are getting word of a magnitude 7.0 quake out of Peru. You're absolutely right, and that, of course, follows the powerful magnitude 6.0 quake that shook Northern California early Sunday morning local time, and residents there are assessing the damage. Arshin Semin has the story. The strongest quake to hit California in a quarter century saw scores of people hospitalized, caused houses to burst into flames, and damaged scores of buildings in California's Napa Valley. A 6.0 magnitude earthquake rocked California's wine country at around 3.20 a.m. on Sunday local time, with the epicenter less than 10 kilometers southwest of Napa. The earthquake was felt over a huge portion of California in San Francisco, but the most powerful tremors were recorded in Napa and Sonoma County. More than 30 aftershocks followed the quake, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. Officials at Queen of the Valley Medical Center in Napa say at least six people have been critically injured, with 120 less seriously hurt. California Governor Jerry Brown has declared a state of emergency and said state officials were working closely with state and local emergency managers, first responders, and transportation officials. California is not a safe zone when it comes to earthquakes, as it sits right above the Pacific's ring of fire, where earthquakes and volcanic eruptions occur often. In 1906, San Francisco was struck by 7.8 magnitude quake that killed over 3,000 people and destroyed 80 percent of the city. In 1989, another powerful quake hit in a similar area, killing more than 60 and injuring hundreds. On the southern side of the Ring of Fire, Peru has been hit by a powerful 7.0 magnitude quake. There were no immediate reports of damage or injuries. Shin Zemin, Arirang News.